What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Seco Studio. This is Roof Rays Part 2. Um, Roof Rays Part 1, we disconnected everything, got our structural ribs welded in, and now we're going to sheet metal, so let's jump into it. We're starting in the rear of the bus because we want our sheet metal to overlap so water rolls off nicely. We're using 1760 quarts drill bits and quarter inch rivets. Also using a 3X heavy duty glue in between the rivets and the sheet metal. This is our line to keep all our rivets in order. So I jumped to the front instead of strictly going rear to front uh, i wanted to go ahead and get my cab closed up so i went ahead and fitted the front sheet got that riveted in repeated my process in the back drew a line at the bottom to uh, mark my new row of rivets and this is how that came out so this is the first full sheet i put on um put all these sheets up by myself. I put an identical sheet on the left side because I wanted to close everything off as I went. The process to putting the large sheets on, you're gonna wanna sand down your head channels, get them smooth, ready for glue. Pop the top three rivets in your drip rail so your sheet metal can slide up into the groove and then decide your spacing for your holes. I did four and a quarter inches so you have a nice symmetrical layout. Here you see I'm pre-drilling those holes and I'm gonna throw some rivets back in there so the sheet metal will just hang. Put silicone in each hole and I, I wrap each rivet in silicone. So I get a nice watertight seal. Not trying to figure out which rivet is leaking down the line. Getting closer to the front, so let's go ahead and frame out this front window. I'm gonna do more than the current window that I'm installing. Uh, total, I'll probably have about five, maybe six. But square tubing for this is one and a half inches. Final piece of sheet metal going in. I used a car jack and a two by six to uh, really drive the, the sheet metal up into the groove. Once the pieces start overlapping, it's almost impossible to really just do that by hand. Cutting out the front window. These are just rough cuts. I'm gonna go back over with a polishing pad and smooth everything out, round the corners. I've got a nice fit on the first try. Went ahead and hit it with some primer so uh, nothing would start to rust and I put butyl tape on the back end of my uh, RV window. Repeated the process on the left side and started to screw in my inside rail. And this is where we're at so far. Thanks everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe. Any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.